everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Google Chrome establishing secure connection issue on your Windows computer. So this is that the page was interrupted while loading, and you've tried it with other web browsers and you're not experiencing the problem. So again, try another web browser first before proceeding in this video and see if it just happens to be that website's down or you, it's more specific Google Chrome issues. So just try and differentiate that right off the bat. And if you find that it's specifically Google Chrome, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Services. Best match should come back with Services right above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to locate the cryptographic service. So go down a little bit here, cryptographic services, go ahead and double click on that. If it's running, just select the stop option and then we're just going to start it back up. So then select start. Make sure automatic is the startup type here. So click inside the drop down, make sure it's set to automatic. So it's applying OK. Would restart your computer and see if that has been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you can go ahead and try would be to open up the start menu. Type in network reset. This match should come back with network reset right above system settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the reset now button. So just keep in mind this will remove, then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. And you will need to restart your computer, so just go ahead and select Reset Now. It's going to ask you sure you want to reset your network settings, so go ahead and select Yes. So the glitch of the computer will shut down automatically, and I would suggest restarting your computer at this point nonetheless and hopefully that would have been able to address your problem. Another thing you can try if you restart your computer and you're still having a problem would be to open up a Google Chrome web browser here and we're just going to open up the browser. It might be open in your case, my case I just had to open it up here. So I'm going to include this in the description of the video so it's just a Chrome settings page basically but I'm going to paste it into the address bar up at the top of the screen here and I'm going to hit enter. It's going to show us different experimental settings, so if anything's currently enabled, we're going to go ahead and just make one small change here. And we're going to search for something that says throttle. And one of the best matches should come back with throttle expensive background timers. You want to go change that to disabled. So it might say default right here, click inside this drop down. Select disabled. Now, for some reason, you experience any prompt after we select the Relaunch Now option. Feel free to set it back to default, so you just open the same URL back up and then just change it back to default. So, a very straightforward process there. So, we're going to go ahead and select Relaunch Now. You're not going to have an internet connection at the moment because we just have reset our network. You're going to have to restart your computer for your network settings to be reset, in which case you're going to have to then maybe enter in your Wi-Fi password if you have one. Ethernet maybe be a little bit different, but pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.